I was back to the channel. It's Dex, and I'm going to teach you five ways that you can improve your rank on Console 6 Siege. And, yeah, I'm a man of my word. I got my light goal. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do it. Okay, number one is droning. I, I know, dr droning is one of those things that, you know, high po skill players do and uh, too much sometimes. And low skill players don't do enough. But it's always better to drone than not to drone unless there's a time constraint. If you have the time and you're safe enough to drone, go ahead and drone. What is he? Okay. Just drone. Thank God he actually did that for me. Alright, number two is your crosshair placement. So, in Siege, one shot headshot is always a factor. You can legit kill the top players in the world with one bullet to the head. Any skill can do it. So, especially when you're on the sticks, it just makes more sense to keep... It's also for PC, too. PC players can take a note of this as well. Is your headshot. Aim for the head and you'll win gunfights. Aim for the body, you can win gunfights, but it's more of a chance that they can kill you, too. And the way that I learned how to keep my crosshair headshot level is you see this buckle here on the um, barricade. The center of that buckle is always head headshot level. So, when you go f to do stuff, as long as you keep your reticle in this little area, you'll always line up head. You can always just picture it, like, as a word. Okay. Yeah, but just, just keep that in mind. You just... Just imagine everywhere being a door, and that's how I do it. And then where that buckle would be. Cross the dude here and see how like I am. Especially with the new setting that you can only the headshots only kill. You can go ahead and actually just practice lining your crosshair up correctly and then shooting. Okay, I got fucking smoked. Alright, number three is your actual operator selection. So in siege, there sad to say there's there's ops better than other ones for any situation so let's say it like this my team has a buck a mav twitch and nomad what is missing from that lineup it would be hard breach now what hard breach to bring it honestly depends on your choice but it also depends on the wall in my opinion the one that you're trying to grab so Let's say, um, Clubhouse. You got the garage. I would always rather bring an ace than bring a thermite. But that's because I like ace's gun, and I like that I can throw his stuff from a distance and be safe. With therm, I can place run, but it gives it a chance to get tricked. Same with ace, it takes longer to open, but at the same time, I can toss them on both walls, and something will at least be opened. And then I'll have that third one so we can clear. Different ops fill different roles, so it just makes sense to pick different ops accordingly to what is needed for your team. And if you solo queue a lot, you can either A, go ahead and grab the op that you want off rip and let your teammates fill, or you can do what me and other players that I know do, and it's wait till the team picks ops and fill in for them. Alright, for number four, it's your recoil control, and so, yeah, your recoil control. Certain ops have a more manageable recoil compared to other operators. Like, Jackal, th this gun here on Jackal, the fucking C7, has, n you know, it it's a has less recoil than, say, an R4C. So, the way that I learned how to do recoil is, I got this from Royal Penguin, was, you go up to the top part on House on Master, you know, you go on the Master, then all you do is clear out the terrorists up top, and then you just sit here and just practice your recoil. You go ahead, you grab your, you know, you reload your ammo as needed, and you just practice the recoil pattern. You can do this for as long as you want to, or until you get the gun. The way that I do it is I let the gun kick up naturally first. And then I'll picture a circle around it, okay? That's a... Yes, circle, everybody. Okay, circle. That's a very shitty circle. Okay, but just picture it like a circle, okay? There's a big old circle right here where your crosshair is. Like, you can also just do your crosshair, like go back here, point your crosshair. And then you can see vertical... And horizontal. And then you can just adjust on your stick. 
on how you want to hold it. And you'll be able to control the re recoil on it. You can try different lengths too, just to get it down. And number five is callouts. So th there's two different types of callouts. There's map callouts and, you know, fucking community callouts. So, let me give you an example. Okay, so here's my example. I had to switch maps because it's on a different map. So, let's open up the uh, front door real quick. So, when I learned the game and when I started playing with the stack that I played with my, you know, entire Siege career, this has always been called front door to me. It'd be front door, low metal, metal, and we haven't made a name for this yet, but I don't know what it's called either. But those are the stack callouts that I mentioned is, you know, certain stacks have their own individual callouts. Now, for universal callouts, this would technically be west main, main stairs, and then down here we have, it's still main stairs. Okay? Then you have main stairs. But it's, you know, this whole spot is known as main stairs. This would be customs, like, the entire room's customs, except for that little office, I think. But yeah, it's just knowing your callouts and when to give them. It's also giving callouts and listening to callouts. Because I don't want console, you have to go ahead and switch your settings around, and it's really fucking annoying having to go from game chat to party chat. But yeah. You just gotta um, learn the callouts. There's videos on the callouts. I can drop a video on some of the callouts, and I can talk to other players about them. And I can also go ahead and, what's it called, um, do all that shit. It's 10 likes for that one. But yeah, that, that was the five ways that I think that you can actually improve in Rainbow Six Siege on the console. So, yeah, tell me what you think. Drop a like, drop a sub. Yeah, have a good day.